Okay, I think I knew I lost it there. I lost I lost my uh, stream lab, so I I couldn't talk. I was no a mute. All right, so do we have people already on the stream? Let me uh, do a quick check here. I'm just trying to. Where is the stream? Should be up here, and I can provide the link. There we go. Okay, we got some people already on the stream. Here we go. Uh, Luke, are you there? Can you hear me? How's it going, everybody? There we go. We got Luke, guys. Let me uh, share on the. I'm gonna share it on your on our DM. Okay, I'll perfect. I'll share the stream link. Let's do it. There we go. That's stream link. Facebook.com. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, we are in Facebook. <laughs> Is it your first That's time awesome. here? I mean, uh, have I, you I, have yeah. you streamed? Do you have a stream page? On Facebook or not yet? I've I did like a little bit of restreaming at one point, but I haven't for a bit. Right. Mm -hmm. So there is a page that just says Luke plays Earn, but I haven't really put much on it besides maybe there's like two or three vods is all. <laughs> but but uh, it, I mean, okay, I guess probably we're gonna start on the uh, the interview right away with with that with the uh, with that question. Why yep. start with why did you go YouTube instead of Facebook? Why did I go YouTube instead of Facebook? I mean, I've just been doing YouTube for years, so that's mm -hmm. kind of what I'm most familiar with. And for me, uh, I don't necessarily love YouTube. It's not like I'm a diehard YouTube or Google fan, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right. I, mm -hmm. uh, it just happens to be one of the, the largest audiences out there. And you know, Facebook is pretty large, but I find Facebook when I'm gaming and stuff, it's for me personally, it's more difficult to use. It feels a little bit messier. So I like YouTube, uh, Twitch. Twitch is good as well for doing a lot of streams, but if you're making a lot of videos, obviously that's not good. So um, YouTube is kind of just that perfect blend for me of I can make a lot of videos and then stream from time to time and get a little bit interaction of both mm -hmm. going. And, you know, it kind of works for both platforms. Uh, one day, I hope that there's, you know, like a Theta or a blockchain platform that kind of takes over and, you know, is a little bit more decentralized because I don't love the leadership of Google or some some of the features they, you know, do or not do on YouTube. <laughs> right, uh, right. So, it, it, again, it's not like I'm in love with YouTube. It's just kind of at, at the time right now, it's what's most convenient to run uh, a channel and a business for me. Yeah, it, you know, it, it's funny because uh, we, got, we got our own, I guess, our I guess our favorite platforms, right? I mean, we got we got the, the Twitch people. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I'm part of the F of the Facebook people. people. <laughs> and then, yeah. Know. I mean, have you have you had much success on Facebook? What is the Splinterlands community like on Facebook? Oh, dude. You, you, well, I'm got I gotta speak from uh, the the uh, the local Filipino uh, Facebook community. I mean, of course, we're doing pretty good. We are uh, we are alive and we are. Uh, like uh, every day, um, you know, not just me. Well, not, when when I first started, I think I got around a hundred to two hundred viewers. But now it's not, I don't monopolize it anymore. We got a lot of uh, other local streamers down here in the Philippines, and I'm sure you know you you get it in your comments as well. These people are into Splinterlands and other NFT games. So, um, do, you, do people in the Philippines do they pr do they like watching on Facebook? Is that easier to access in the Philippines than YouTube, or is it just uh, preferencing? Or what? What is uh, appealing to that community it about is, Facebook? It is. Um, Facebook is the number one thing down here, uh, and it, I guess, I guess YouTube is a close <laughs> second, or maybe tied to it. But you know, everybody, everybody here is on Facebook. Everybody has a, everybody from uh, from, you know, from businessmen to to the janitor there, and 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 in, in the building. To Jeepney drivers, they all have a Facebook account. They're always on Facebook, and it's very accessible to them um, to have that kind of, uh, um, I guess, to to look at other content creators. They, they'll easily see it because they're checking their profile, and then, you know, they can <laughs> they can just go to the sure. to the live videos and be able to access. Yeah, it. no, that makes sense. Right. That's cool. But but YouTube is, I guess, a close second. I I would say down here, Twitch is probably the least. Uh, the least um, used platform from, from the Philippines, and we are trying to kind of bringing that up. But we do have Filipinos uh, up there, but 
I guess they just, you know, they just don't uh, see the appeal of going there without any profiles, or they can't spy on anybody, <laughs> or they can't stalk their, <laughs> their high school. That's friends. the real appeal. <laughs> <laughs> right, true. Being able to spy on others, perfect. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I, awesome. I, I didn't, uh, you know, reveal like a Filipino trait or something, but yeah, but probably around 99.9% .9 of Filipinos are on Facebook, so there you go. That makes sense. <laughs> well, Kamusta to everyone on Facebook. Awesome. Okay, so we got... Um, yeah, we got your video starting with, with those words, right? The, the Kabusta. So how did you learn that? I mean, is that from a viewer or <laughs> what happened? So, yeah, I mean, the backstory, I, I used to be, I mean, before I went full-time with this, I was a youth pastor. And mm. one of the families that started coming to our church was from an island called Chuk. I don't know if you've heard of it. Mm. Can't Probably not. Have. Right, right. Okay, it's a, it's a tiny, teeny little island by Guam. Okay. So okay. it's pretty obscure, but, uh, you know, they're, they're having a hard time kind of adjusting because it was a, mainly a white church. And so, you know, they didn't feel like they fit in as much. And, you know, we we're trying to figure out, like, how do we include them? Like, how do we get to know them? And one summer, you know, as we were hanging out, I was just like, hey, like, what, tell me about your island. What is it like? And then I started asking, like, hey, like, what are some words? Like, teach me some words, right? <laughs> and so, one of the things they taught me was a neem pui pui, which just means like, what's what's up, homie? All right. Uh, so I, I was like, every time I saw him, I'm just like, a neem pui pui. He's like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, what's good? <laughs> and I I just loved it. It was just such a fun way to connect with them. It, it made them feel more at home. And I was like, you know what? I, I I feel like as a white person, we don't do a very good job at you know uh, connecting with other cultures and and really you know, trying to understand other people because, you know, white people have been, I guess, globally dominant, all that, you know, we've, we've been arrogant, all those different things, <laughs> uh, all the sins we've committed. And, you know, I was just like, you know, it'd be great to just kind of connect with people in their language as much as I can. Obviously I can't on YouTube learn thousands of languages, but if I can learn a greeting or, uh, you know, a, a goodbye or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, just you know just as like hey like i appreciate i appreciate you your language i appreciate your culture being here and the philippines obviously they're the most in the play to earn games for a while they're number one viewers on my channel i think us just took it over by like a couple percent mm -hmm. but philippines is still uh, number two on my channel and so that's one of the ones i always go to because i want to always shout out the philippines that always keep coming to the streams always keep watching and i just really appreciate it well you know you're lucky man because usually when uh, when a foreigner um you know <laughs> is asking for some words <laughs> from down here in the philippines you know some of these guys they're probably going to give something which is uh not appropriate to be <laughs> to, uh, you know to be uh, fair enough probably not to be streamed but uh i mean did, did they give you any uh, i guess curse words or bad la or, or bad oh, words <laughs> I, on, I looked. Seriously. I looked up greetings myself on uh -huh. Google, and so that's where I got Kamusta from. But then I think people added stuff. Uh, they they taught me at one point like, "How are you?" and uh, I, I, a couple like thank yous or, or you're welcomes. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but I don't think, as far as I'm aware, at least I haven't received any uh, curse words from. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do you pronounce it? Is it ta Tagalog? Ta ta or? Tagalog, yeah, Tagalog. That's how you pronounce Tagalog, it. Tagalog, right? yeah. <laughs> I don't think I have, as far as I'm aware. All right. Now, okay. <laughs> well, as far as you're aware, okay. Let's let's leave it let's leave it at that, because we might say okay. something here which uh, you know might guy, might get us banned or something. <laughs> so yeah, let, let's, I'll just leave it. I'll leave it at Kamusta. <laughs> yeah, let's leave it at Kamusta. Let's let's go to the chat right now. We got a few people up here. Uh, normally, this isn't really my stream time, Luke. So we got some people. Um, I guess surprised that I'm streaming at this time. Um, oh, but no let, let's, let's check some names. We got Ryan Lirio. He's first. We got Ammon Bernardo. Um, you see that wolf sticker? That's a howl out. My supporters are. Uh, yeah, my supporters, they call him the wolf pack, and they have this special sticker. That's their only sticker. <laughs> so when they ask for a howl out, they give that, that, that little sticker there. Awesome. We got. Art, Arthur Rivera. Good luck, Sir Wolf. He says, We got Chevy. This is Furious Chicken. Another content creator. Um, uh, yep. from YouTube, actually YouTube too, but he's Filipino, so he's here yep. to say hi. He was the fir the very first, actually. This is uh, this is the second of my wolf interview series, and he was the first guy interviewed. And of course, Luke is the second. It. We got Ray Urbino with the beer icon. Oh, okay. It looks like he wants us to uh to grab a few cold ones Bring here up. in the afternoon. Ryan uh, Vanguardia, hello, one of my supporters. Of course, uh, Ninong A Slim. 
What's up, Luke and Wolf? Uh, uh, Sir Ace Slim is, of course, is a leader of Project Ace, uh, the group yeah, I belong to. Ace. Right, I guess you know him. A good, uh, shout out to Project Ace and, of course, Ace Slim. Sina po yung guest natin today, Pogi na ba? Okay. Um, he's, uh, who's, the, who's our guest? Okay, he's, he's, he's kidding. Richard Case and Peralta. We got 30 uh, Baltao. Conrad Ryan. We got John Carlos Fortez who says it's a nosebleed. Will Luke hanging out with some Trukies? Like it says, hey, Sir Wolf and Luke. Truki. <laughs> Truki, okay. Fatima says hi. We got Conrad. We got Amor. Arthur says, hey, Luke, how are you? Okay, there we go. And I think we've just caught up with the comments. Do I trust Arthur when he says I can say that? Or is that one of the curse words? Uh, Luke, we will teach you some Tagalog word. You can say talpakan. No, it's not a curse word. It's normally, <clears throat> it's, it's what we do when we open a pack. It's like, uh, uh, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's not, it's clobbering time or whatever, but but it's for opening a pack, so, talpaka na, okay. that's what we say, so. Talpaka na. Talpaka na, yeah. Wow, well, you, you say it like a, like a natural, like somebody down here. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I try. <laughs> All right, um, Sir Luke, how much did you spend? In, okay, we'll, we'll get that, we'll put, we'll put that question in later, Conrad. Um, that's going to be one of the questions we'll be asking. Uh, in due time. I know this is a very messy interview, but this is how, how I run my stream. It's, it's a live it's stream interview. interview. It is. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's true. Uh, I'm Real TV. Another content creator. His name is Mark. He's one of the admins at Splinterland PH. The subs of Wolf and Luke. It's like gambling time. There we go. Gambling time. That's how, okay. that's, <laughs> that's how we do it. I like it. I like it. Uh, just Justin Ludovic and Evan Bernardo. Okay, now we've caught up to the comments. Let's get back to the interview. Look, this is not how it's supposed to start. It's supposed to start with you uh, giving an introduction to, I mean, how who you are, what exactly is your content, what do you represent, um, uh, and, and that's how it's supposed to start. But, you know, uh, me fine. being the messy guy I am. <laughs> no, nah, I love it. All right, that's, cool. That's why I love live streaming, right? You know, it's like you get to interact with people. It's not just a one-way communication. You get to read chat. That's that's why I like to do not just videos but streaming. So that's that's the part that I love. Exactly. And and I've, I know I've caught up a lot of uh, your own live streams. I've been there myself, especially, well, yeah, I gave you a golden lion. You know, I'm not going to – I'm going to flex that every day because I was the only one who gave you a golden lion that day. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, people on chat, of course, you know me. Whenever I go on live, we do giveaways, so we're gonna get, well, we're gonna get to that later. Just stay tuned on how you're gonna be able to give away. Make sure you do a follow uh, and share, of course. Make sure you have your followers, and share badges, and subscribers, uh, supporters. Sorry, of course, you guys get get extra perks because of that. All right, let's get back to the question. So, Luke, let's 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 do it how it's supposed to be done. And do a quick introduction of yourself, what's your content, and what you represent, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Go ahead. Sure, yeah. I mean, if you haven't seen me, I'm just Luke at Luke Plays to Earn on YouTube. So you can pop on by anytime there. Uh, mostly, I've been covering Splinterlands for, I think, since September is when I started my channel. And really, I think at the end of September, I decided to really land on Splinterlands after trying some other games and... Just happened to make a Splinterlands Beginner's Guide that really kind of took off and helped me to grow the beginning of my channel. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in, as I said earlier, you know, I left my job end of December, so I've been doing full-time content creation for about a month and a half, mostly Splinterlands, but now I'm trying to branch out as well just to cover some of the other NFT games. I mean, there are so many freaking NFT games out there. It's insane. <laughs> There's got to be... <laughs> Multiple projects a day that everyone's trying to shill and trying to you know get sure their name yeah. out there. So <laughs> I'm I'm trying to help my community sort through these games, and they're trying to help me. We're all trying to work together. Mm -hmm. uh, we're we're called the Krill Crew because we're all, for the most part, small investors. People that uh, for whatever reason Love can't it. put a lot into these games. Mm -hmm. uh, we we might have a couple whale friends, but most of us are Krills, which is the food of whales. If you don't know know that, <laughs> so really the goal of my community is like, hey. Let's throw in a little bit of money, whatever we can, and then play to earn. And then, you know, if we're smart with our money, if we're smart with our playing to earn mm -hmm. games, our choices, all of that. And then may, one day, the goal is hopefully, you know, whatever, however long it takes, three, five, ten years, we might be whales ourselves. So that's kind of the, the vision for us working together as a community. So this little krill, which I have now on my screen... Yeah. Um, uh, this will this might morph into like a like a, a humpback whale or something, huh? 
Is that, is that the goal? <laughs> well, now the joke is it's going to go krill, minnow, whale, and then after that it's going to be the lion because of all the gargoyle lions we have now. <laughs> Wait, wait, this, this krill also has a name, right? I think you guys came up with a name for it, or is that, is that still up? We have community uh, submitted names. I need to go through them all and pick my favorite. So uh, whoever's, whoever's best name chosen for our krill, it will be given a uh, Chaos Legion pack. So Ooh. I haven't I haven't picked yet. I've been really busy with other things and I haven't really you know sorted it out yet. So hopefully in the next day or two we'll have a name. Can there's people, some good there's some good suggestions. Yeah, can people still join that? I mean, we can ask our viewers yeah. now if they can join. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. Since we're in that topic, um, you are on the stream, right? So can you post your, a link to your uh, to your YouTube channel, or maybe I should do that. Yeah. Um, Give me a second. Yeah, let me do that for see, you. Okay. Let me change my chat. I just want to see if I can. It's okay, I think I have it. I'll post with my full name <laughs> to the chat. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. I'll, I'll post it. Actually, yeah. I, on second thought, I'll be the one to post it. There we go, guys. Um, that is Luke's uh, YouTube channel. In case somehow you are some alien hiding under a rock somewhere and you don't know who Luke is, that is his YouTube channel. I've already pinned it in the comment. If you haven't subscribed to him, please... Please do Please subscribe. Do. Oh, there we go. We got a little krill saying hi all. <laughs> yeah, I figured it out. Channel. I figured out a post from my page. Cool. <laughs> all right, and uh, yeah, Amor says krill crew wolf pack. Let's go. Ooh, wow, this is a cool collaboration Good combo. Huh? The krill crew and the wolf pack. <laughs> uh, sir, Luke, can you share it to us your YouTube channel? Oh, there we go. We already have it pinned, John Carlos. I already right. posted it in the comment, and I pinned it in the comments. Please do subscribe. Um, uh, Luke does need your help to grow his, uh, his, if you want to put your, you you, your Facebook your channel Facebook there as well, I mean, we can, yeah, uh, we can have that uh, as well. Right, let, let's it's got a total up. of, uh, zero likes so far, so <laughs> it's, it's really <laughs> popping off. <laughs> we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna add it, we're gonna add that. Let, let's, 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 I guess, I guess you're convincing me right now that I might need to start restreaming to Facebook again. Well, because I kind of gave up on it. Let's show it some love. Let's show it some love. You, you, we'll you, see. We'll it, see. It, it, I guess it depends at the time zone. I mean, let's be honest right there, because I told you that the Filipinos they're gonna be. Uh, we're already all right. I'm already following now. So I've already uh, actually Bulldog has posted. Um, suddenly, as recently posted some stuff in uh, in Facebook, Facebook as well. I was uh, surprised, but you know there is a lot of uh, viewers to uh, to get here, especially I guess from the other side of the globe. Oh, and Luke, by the yeah. way, um, in case you need to pop off, because I know it's evening at your at your end, and you know I know that you, you're you're doing something or whatever. But if it's but if you need to pop off, let us know. No problem. Oh, uh, I'll I'll be going to bed, but I got like another fifty minutes in me. Don't worry. There we go. I'm still awake for now. <laughs> <laughs> He's got another 50 minutes, guys. So, let's go ahead with the question. So, um, how, I mean, how did you start with the NFT games? I guess let's just be let's just be specific. Specific. Splinterlands. How did you start with Splinterlands? Yeah, I mean, it kind of does go back to the story of how did I get into play off play to earn games in general and that was from my dad getting me into crypto i had no idea what the heck crypto even was started watching uh probably one of the more famous channels crypto banter i don't watch it anymore because <laughs> uh it's kind of questionable but but we'll we'll, we'll we'll ignore that part mm -hmm. uh, but they were talking about nft gaming and i was like what what is this and so back in the day it was like alien world because they didn't even know about axie infinity somehow so it was like literally alien world like you know, click this button, mine, come back later. It was, you know, <laughs> incredibly boring, but it, it fascinated me, you know, that I could just be, like, playing a game and Earn. earning, right? right? So I was like, wow, this is kind of a cool concept. Like, what else could we do with this? Yeah. Um, I mm -hmm. I actually found Splinterlands while looking at lists, I think, on playtoearn.net back in, I want to say, even, like, June of last year, but I skipped it. I was like, I looked at it. I was like, eh, I, I'm not sure if this is for me, <laughs> which was kind of a bummer because you know I could have gotten to the game really before it took off. Uh, but I, you know, I just I was playing other games, Lost Relic, Blinko's Block Party, Lost and I was like, oh, that's wow. that's not the game for me. So uh, it wasn't until August when I watched another video about it from Crypto Stash when he put it on his list for one of the best mobile games for NFT games, and I was like, you know what, I kind of want one on my phone. Let's just try it out. The spell book was ten bucks, whatever. Like if if it's a crappy game, ten bucks, whatever. I, that's fine. 
And, you know, just playing on my phone casually while watching movies or gaming or whatever else <laughs> I was doing. I kind of fell in love with it, even though it was in a game that I would typically play. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, as I played it and made videos, it just, I fell in love with it, fell in love with the community. Now, you know, playing it all the time, streaming it, running tournaments with Zen Sports. I'm just having a ton of fun with it. So yeah. that's kind of how I got into it. Right. Um, okay, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, what is your favorite card of all time? Favorite card of all time. <laughs> There's so many cards to choose from, man. Come on, man. So many cards. Give one. <laughs> I, I always I always give my love when people ask me this question. I always give my love to Quix the Devious. The reason being Quix. one, he's, he's my first he's my first summoner that I got to the gold level, mostly because of Stever82. If you, anyone <laughs> yeah, watches Steve, you know uh, Stever on right. YouTube. Uh, he boosted he boosted me greatly and I was able to get a level three Quix. Um, I just I like the art. I like using the dragon monsters as well. Mm -hmm. I think he's pretty powerful. One of the funnest things in this game is to troll people by reducing their speed and making uh, misses happen in the game. So I love just uh, trying to you know do double triple slows on their team just to make them miss a bunch. I think it's hilarious when they you know maybe have a better team but then get you know five ten misses in a row <laughs> and it's like <laughs> yeah sucker like it's just, like it just is awesome. And then during the uh, the voting from Splinterlands, when they're like, "Hey, let's make a plushie," mm -hmm. I I said Quicks the Devious. I know he didn't win, but I hope one day they actually make a Quicks the Devious plushie because that would be that would be like my top choice. Well, there you go, guys. This is a surprise. I didn't think you'd uh, you'd pick him, but uh, I guess there's. there's well, a lot did of you want me to say Gargoyle Line? Because that's I mean. I was looking for <laughs> that. I, I, not not lying. I was. <laughs> or maybe okay. something more metal. Do, do, Maybe do you know the story? Do you know the story of how this even happened? Wait a minute, I, I, I was I know I was there on the live stream, right? <laughs> when when people started giving you the lions, right? I was there on that stream. Okay. But but yeah, go so, ahead. Maybe there's a different story that I didn't know. Okay, about. so for people that don't know, I did a subathon at the end of January, and during that subathon, I opened up my end of season rewards, and they were absolute garbage, right? I mean, it was probably like. <laughs> I think it was under a dollar of value in silver two or something like that of 15 chests. Exactly. But, <laughs> but as I opened them in a row, down in a column, four in a row, Gargoyle Lions came out, and I was just celebrating like crazy because it was to me it was like really cool. It was like you know I just got to connect four. I just like won the lottery. It was like four in a row. This is awesome. <laughs> and people thought I was stupid for celebrating four Gargoyle Lions, which is, you know, kind of memed on as one of the worst cards. <laughs> or cheapest cards, I guess, at least. And, you know, I was just excited. So people started trolling me, just sending me line after line. Of course, that led to the Luki the Lion and then, you know, the Road to the Thousand Lions. And now I want Splinterlands to give me a number of how many lines we need to collect so that I can get a Luki the Lion NFT collectible in the game or at least on the Splinter Talk or something. So... See if they respond. I don't know. It might be like ten thousand lines. It might be a hundred thousand lines. I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Luki the lion. Okay. Now this brings up something because it's on my Twitter. if no one's seen it, I'll, I'll uh, share it if anyone has a Twitter. Guys, if you are, uh, <laughs> if you're checking Luke's YouTube right now, which I'm sure you are, um, <laughs> there is a card there. <laughs> There's a lion there, which has his face on it. I mean, that's okay. probably Lu that is Luki the Lion, right? I mean, that's the ex exact uh, uh, Gargoyle Lion that we're talking about. Or am I? Are we expecting another Luki the Lion here? I mean, <laughs> let me see if I can actually post this link here. Here's the tweet to it, if anyone can see that. Right. But that will have the card right there. <laughs> okay. But but the reason why I want to br bring up his streams, guys, is that if you look at Luke's streams, of course he he, he has his camera on during that time. <laughs> There are streams that he dresses up as something different than uh, than nope. the normal. <laughs> no, that, well, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Really now? So I'm not sure how do you, how, how that. do you know that? How do you know DJ Doctor Moo is me? I don't. <laughs> there's no evidence. There's no evidence out there. There is. Oh. <laughs> Oh wait, we got a gift from Mark Jason. Let me just see this. Oh, oh, we got a gold. Oh, gold. gold Let's go. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Let's give that away. We're going to give that away later. Thank you very much, guys, for sending that. Actually, that's the reason why I have this up. Um, we actually have 10 packs to give away today oh. in celebration <laughs> of the interview with Luke today. All right. So we're going to give that away a little later. 
Um, uh, just have a few more questions for Luke before we uh, we talk him into bed, and then let's go <laughs> the give away. I, <laughs> all right. I don't know how my wife will feel about that, but all right. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, we're yeah. Um, you brought that up. Um, because you know I'm a family man myself. I have two kids. I have my wife. Uh, right now she's oh, wow. uh, she's downstairs. She knows there's a Luke place to earn an interview, and she's doing the best she can to uh, create some posters for it or whatever. Um, okay. I will tell her Camus stuff for me. <laughs> thank you for that. I wanted to ask if it's okay for you. I mean, uh, how supportive has your family been? I, I mean, I know you talked about it in your streams. You told me that you've. Uh, um, you, you, I think you quit the day job. You wanted to do this full time. Yeah. Um, I remember on that stream you said, "Don't worry, guys. We're not starving or we're not running out of cash." Which means that you you have the support of your family, which is so cool, yeah. right? Is it okay for you to talk about that a little bit? Or yeah, 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 of course. That's that's cool. Yeah. So I mean, I don't have any kids currently, so that helps. You know, <laughs> a little bit less expenses, a little that more time. That really to do helps. Things, right? Ninety percent. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. but <laughs> no, we've been married six years now. Uh, or coming up on six years, I guess. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of an interesting time. She she doesn't like necessarily support the crypto and NFT gaming side. It's not like she's against it. She's just like, I don't understand it. Like, if you're interested in it, cool. But like, it's not like my interest. So right. it's not like she's like playing Splinterlands with me, right? Uh, but she's definitely supportive in terms of me, you know, chasing after my dreams, trying this as a business. And she's incredibly, yeah, loving and supportive and gracious because... As I said, like it's not like I'm making, you know, what what my job was making, you know, a month and a half ago. It's you know, it's about uh, it's about a fourth, uh, maybe a third of what it used to be. And so she's really, uh, as we say in America, bringing home the bacon, uh, bringing <laughs> bringing in the money so that we can keep, uh, you know, paying the bills and eating and all that. And we're fine, but you know, it's it's definitely a cut to just lifestyle experience and. Um, you know, the money I'm making on YouTube and, you know, sponsorships and all that stuff, like, in some countries, it might go a long, a long way, right? It does. Um, but, it does. you know. Down here. Uh, yeah, but, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. I, that's what I hear from what you guys keep telling me. But, uh, <laughs> you know, for here, it's like, okay, well, you know, in a lot of the world, it's a lot of money. But also, like, here, we have really high rent. We have really high groceries. Right. You know, things are just inflating like crazy. And so... Um, there's no way I could survive off of what I'm doing now if it was just me, but luckily my wife uh, has a full-time job as a school counselor, and so we're making it work together, and, and we'll see, you know, if it continues to grow, uh, what could happen, and if it doesn't, you know, maybe I get uh, a part-time job and go back to doing content creation part-time, you know, we're kind of still in the trial phase, seeing how it goes. Right, well, so awesome. Is it okay if we give give a sh uh, uh, give her a shout out? You, can you give her a nickname or anything that we can? Uh, you don't even have to put a real name. Just just a nickname that we can uh, we can shout out. I always do a shout out here in my stream. So yeah, well, she uh, she has a nickname. She probably hates it, but uh, her her nickname is JJ. That's her initials. All right. So JJ, if you're JJ. watching, listening right now, or we're just watching the replay or whatever, don't get annoyed. Oh. You have a, you're you're, yeah. uh, you're a lucky lady, and uh, Luke is a lucky man to have you of course please do continue supporting him trust me coming from a guy um uh, and you know having the full support of uh, of your partner on your family is such a big deal and it is a, a huge confidence booster and it will uh um you know it, it will really help us go along the way uh, the partnership will help us go along a long way okay we got a lot more people in the chat right now exploding uh let's give a very quick shout out to diana conrad joe jean Janu, Reina, Joseph, um, Eugene, Leo, and James, who says, I knew it. You two know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> not really. Um, well, I guess it's time we, we told them, I guess, uh, Luke. I mean, I've been telling them anyway that we are part of the uh, official stream team of Splinterlands. And yeah. we're going to be launching soon. And that's one of the reasons why we're, we're, we're kind of collaborating with each other. Because, um, you know, we want to have some teamwork. Uh, going on along the team, right? And uh, and this is not the first time I'm going to be interviewing somebody here, but of course, Luke is uh, one of the first who responded. <laughs> so I want to thank yeah. Luke for, for being here. <laughs> right, she, okay, we got a lot more. There was a comment here. It's <laughs> so funny. Somebody says, um, I know, I, I'm probably not going to say it, because your your wife might get mad, but <laughs> just somebody who oh, no. really appreciated, uh, I guess who appreciated, I guess, how you look like. <laughs> so it's cool. Right. We, it doesn't, we don't have a camera here. Oh, I watch his bits too. Okay, we got you got a lot. I told you you got a lot more fans uh, down here in Facebook. You probably uh, are not aware of that. 
but uh, I yeah. guess it's just a time zone, right? I mean, it's it's when you stream. Yeah. I mean, it's hard, you know, it's like you want to, like, I try to mix up my streaming times because, you know, every, crypto and NFT gaming is really just across the globe. I mean, that's kind of the fun thing for me as I've met more people streaming outside of America than I think I've met inside of America. So I love getting to meet people from South America, Asia, you know, Africa, Europe, uh, Australia. And that's really cool. It's it's hard though, obviously, to do collabs and to do streams that hit everyone's time zone. So I try to mix it up, you know, and give a an early stream for me. I know is like one to two a.m. for you guys in the Philippines, but I, from what I hear, a lot of people are up at that time, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's uh, I, I try to do uh, one late night stream a week so that you know I think that hits more of your guys' afternoon yeah, time. Yeah, we do, we do, we do see that. Um, uh, all right, well, um. Uh, Luke, we're probably going to be nearing the end of the questions. I mean, uh, I'm I'm not sure if JD is probably looking at you right now, looking at you know, pointing at it, at her watch or something. And uh, I don't want to cause any. Uh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah, right. But um, uh, first, guys, you see these packs here on the uh, on the screen. I will be giving away nine of them here um, on stream for uh, via Facebook picker. But one pack I will be giving away to somebody who can uh, provide me a screenshot that he's already he or she has already subscribed to Luke. Hey. All right, you can send that over to my uh, to my messages. I will get. Yeah. F I guess pick a number, Luke. Pick a number between the, well one to whatever. You want me to say it out loud or message you? Right, because because uh, they gotta pick a number. Because if I say the first, you know, that might be unfair. So just pick a number. Right. And I'll pick the, I, for example, the, for, the fourth person who messaged me. And then we'll give that pack to him. Well, my favorite number is nine, but is that too many? No, that's okay. Cool. We got that. So, guys, yeah. the ninth person who sends me go. a screenshot that they've subscribed to Luke's YouTube channel, which we've already pinned there on the, on the comments. He, uh, he or she will win that one extra Chaos Legion pack, and the other nine uh, will be, f uh, will I guess, will be giving away right now here in the live stream. Um, uh, the other nine, the other nine. If you just want to hit that send button uh, by the pack right there, and then type in Luke dash WTP. <laughs> Why don't we give away? We just to do Luke? it. <laughs> yeah, we just do it that way. I will give it away when you're when you're live. I'll give one when you're live. <laughs> I'm just, you can I'm have some you. <laughs> No, I'm not. No, dude, I always. <laughs> I always give to your streams. I mean, you. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, I know. You're, you know, you're yeah. very generous. <laughs> I know. Facts right now. This is great. I'm gonna flex that golden lion because I'm the only one who gave that. I mean, well, the first one, I guess, who gave that. So. Yeah. No, it was that. great. <laughs> All right, um, Luke. I guess maybe some final words, or do you have uh, anything you'd like to plug? I want to. Pr I want you to plug uh, your your Zen Sports uh, hosting. You know, any events you have up in the in in the future. So that, that they can already, uh, I guess they can check that out and put that in, in their calendar. Because we know we're in, yeah. in a different time zone, so it would be good to be yeah. prepared from our end. Yeah, well, go ahead. The fun thing about the yeah, the fun thing about the Zen Sports tournaments for the bronze is that they're anytime tournaments. So you know they start on Wednesday. Well, I guess probably your guys is Thursday and end on your guys is Saturday. So really, you can you know submit your matches anytime. Mm -hmm. It's across 48 hours. You just got to get your you know matches in before each 24 hour period. So that's kind of the cool thing about these anytime Splinterlands tournaments is you know all of these time zones are going to be able to participate. So that's that's why we did it that way. And uh, I know the bronze one has become much more tough competition than I ever thought yeah. it would be. Like <laughs> you have a lot of tough freaking players. Like I struggle in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to make the top 32, but uh, I'm in talks with them and, and Zen Sports to try to get you know some novice tournaments going as well and get some rewards out there for players that uh, c you know can't even compete against these bronze players that have you know hundreds of thousands of power. So uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on with Zen Sports. But yeah, I'd be interested to hear you know as kind of just some final thoughts from your community or from you. Like what are uh, what are people in the Philippines like really looking for from these play to earn games in Philippines and sorry, the Philippines and Splinterlands mm -hmm. uh, is, you know, is, you know, I'm doing some videos to try to help out the, the small investors, you know, that $1 to $1,000 yeah. series trying to create rental guides. Is that helpful? Or are you guys looking for potentially different stuff or different games or I don't know, like what, what is the play to earn space in the Philippines looking like right now for your, you and your community? Well, it, I, I guess uh, speaking for them, I mean, it's uh, yeah, I mean, that's how you got uh, that's how we, we knew you, right, from your guides. And uh, I think you're doing great. I mean, uh, you've already been doing what's needed uh, in terms of helping the, uh, the small guy, I guess, 
And uh, I think you've already promoted that that one challenge. I think that one year uh, zero to hero. I, I don't. I think I remember. Yeah, that was crazy. That. Right, so that's kind of, those are cool challenges as well. Um, but in terms of the NFT space, there you go. Well, Emin here says in the extreme comments says it all. Your videos are actually really helpful, Luke. Say mahal ko kayo talpakan. <laughs> oh my, you guys, you guys, you know they're they're so excited. They they had having you here in the stream. I told you you prop. You said that you know there's a lot of Filipinos in, in your subscribers or whatever, it's but I'm not sure. Easier, easier. Right, pro- easier way to say thank you, isn't it like salama or something? Yeah, it is. It is salama. That that's is that crazy. is that thank you? That is thank you. <laughs> now you're being careful because it might be a curse word. <laughs> I want to double check. Yeah, I want to make sure because it's true. I'm I'm I'll be totally honest. Normally, if a Filipino, you have a Filipino friend and you ask him for uh, for uh, some words. There is a, <laughs> there is like a forty percent chance it'll probably tell you some some curse word that you know. <laughs> right. We're okay. we're pretty sarcastic and and goofy here as well. So that's that I you know I love it. It's funny. Right. <laughs> and one of the things I loved about your stream, Luke, you have this this uh, this energy. This this like you said, it's a goofy, um, if I may say, geeky vibe. You know that we all relate to. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get you here. I know my wolf pack and my my wolf fam, uh, my my viewers. Uh, you know, th- those who are aware of it, uh, they love it. And those who are not, I'm sure they can kind of relate because it's how I do my streams as well. And uh, yeah. and what, we want to thank you. I mean, I want to thank you for uh, for your guys and for your videos, uh, especially the, the well the future ones as well. Because I'll be there. I'll be watching. I'll be sending those golden gargoyles. And uh, awesome. <laughs> well, salamat. True. Okay, got it. All right. So, um, <laughs> the stream comments did say, "Do you have any last words, or do you want to, uh, um, I don't know, say <laughs> any last word?" That I think that's what right. you asked me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But um, yeah, I guess one more. Uh, like I said, any last messages to your uh, to your fans here in the in the Wolf Fan? Well, I, I think I accidentally cut you off. I, I wanted to hear from you a little bit more about, especially other NFT games mm-hmm. that are coming okay, out. Okay, okay. In the Philippines are, are people mostly looking for hey i just want games to earn because it really is over there like i need to get a paycheck to pay rent or is it just kind of all over the place and mm-hmm. people are just looking for fun games like what what is helpful to the community over there in the philippines okay i got you so i have it on screen right now and i know you already made a video of this um yeah. the game is called samurai uh rising and yep, actually yep. Uh, samurai legends is uh it, it's going to be relaunched in uh, in a few weeks. So this is one of the games which is currently helping the Filipino community ban. I can't. Uh, I have to re- restart my MetaMask. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, here in uh, in uh, in Samurai Legends, uh, let's give an example here. Uh, I actually interviewed one scholar uh, just uh, recently. She's a 16-year-old girl, and she's earning I think $100 a day. In Samurai Whoa. Rising, so Whoa. so right. Have a big account <laughs> exactly, there. <laughs> exactly. And it's something. I mean, it, it's not. It's something that's not yet. I guess it's not yet axie hyped, which is both good and bad because we want the game to earn. But on another end, we also don't want to. I don't. I don't know. We don't want to put in some uh, inflow of. Well, you know how, how it is, right? Like what happened to Axie and whatever. But I, were, I yeah. know we're, they're fixing it. But right now, so, Samurai Legends is the one which is rising up and uh, earn, you know, yeah. earning a lot for. Uh, so for how did the how did the people in the Philippines handle Axie f- crashing? Essentially, you know, a lot of people I know they're you know, it sounded like to me at least from what I heard they're you're taking the money out, they're paying rent, they're paying bills with it, yes, right? Yes. But then the token crashes, all of the Axies crash. Mm-hmm. What did people do at that point? Was that a pretty big uh, deal for them? Was that pretty, you know, damaging to their their economy and stuff? Or like, I guess, how did they handle that? It was. I mean, uh, speaking for myself, I'm also an Axie player. Uh, I am also a manager, so, and I'm uh, kind of, you know, up to date on the uh, on the news forums down here in the Philippines. Uh, a lot of scholars have, uh, I guess, have quit. They've given the Axies back to their managers because, because actually, what's what the problem is is that. It's very stressful. I mean, it's so it's funny because here in Splinterlands, we are uh, we also have to rent, right? I mean, we uh, we it's also a PVP type of, of setting, 
but we enjoy the game. It's not like with Axie, in which uh, you you know you're stressed out for I guess a lot of hours, and then now you earn you know I guess a dollar. Uh, per, right. per SLP. No, not even. A, sorry, I, I'm not a dollar, <laughs> but uh, yeah, a yeah. lot less. So right. that's uh, it, it. Took a huge dent on, uh, I guess, on on the uh, daily. Uh, I guess the daily income of a lot of people, and they're looking at other NFTs, uh, NFTs to play. So you know that's why, that's why we got a lot of uh, other uh, other games which we're looking at, and mm -hmm. again, just to say with Splint, with the Samurai Rising. What's cool about it is that even if you lose, you get INF. So yeah. imagine Axie, you lose and you get SLP. Or imagine Splinterlands, you lose and you get uh, DET. Yeah. That's kind of unheard of in our end, right? But uh, that you know that's what's cool about the Samurai uh, Samurai Rising, Samurai Legends. I am, <laughs> of course, I am promoting Samurai Rising, Samurai Legends. This is one of my uh, my favorite games right now. Um, yeah. But but basically, and, and Luke also covered this in the video anyway. I mean, do your own research. I mean, everybody in crypto knows about that. You can uh, you can also check it out. Uh, my 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 viewers know about this. Uh, of course, we are um, uh, we are very much involved in the community for Samurai Rising. And uh, yeah, Luke, I actually wanted to extend to you. You know, if you have any questions about Samurai Rising or whatever, and you want to bring that up, you you know, you can hit me up, and I can help you with that. Me and thank Ace, you. yeah, me and Ace, right? Yeah, thank you. No, I've been playing a bit of Samurai Rising. I'm I'm mostly excited just to get tokens and some NFTs for the Legends part because that game looks yes, more exciting. That Samurai right. Rising is, you know, it's all right, but it's pretty basic, right? True, so true. the the new stuff coming out is what more excites me here in a couple the weeks. The Samurai Verse, yeah. When it comes out, you know, we have uh, we have the map of Japan where you you know you get to fight against neighboring warlords. You can travel from one <laughs> land to another and get get attacked by bandits, or you can yeah. be the bandit which you, which was hired by the you know. It's a lot of opportunities, and it's uh, sometimes when sometimes you're almost imagining stuff, but the the developers are the promising in the, in the AMA is that it will be actually good stuff and you know we're, we're, we're pretty confident that it's going to be a good game in the future but what about you Luke I mean I know you asked me a question but I am also curious is there any game right now I mean aside from Samurai Legends and uh, Splinterlands um, is there any game that you're kind of uh, I guess excited over or you think it's going to pop up soon yeah, I mean, for me personally, the, I'm treating it more as like, let me throw in my video game budget and see what happens. Like, I want to play games that I enjoy and, mm -hmm. you know, the earning for me is a nice bonus, but I'm not, you know, in a position where it's like my daily income, right? So, mm -hmm. for me, I kind of look at it in different ways than some people might from the Philippines, which is cool. Like, it's great to have different perspectives, right? Right. So, you know, there's games that I enjoy in the nft space that don't earn much but there's games that don't earn much or did i say that backwards they earn a lot but i don't enjoy so you know that's kind of right. the, the hard part to balance you know there's things like uh you know skyweaver and gods unchained and stuff like that which although some people have earned a decent amount um there's blankos and you know um, Gear I'm, four? i mean these are the NFTs. yeah yeah so there's there's things um upcoming i'm more interested in um I just bought an NFT for Mouse Haunt, which Mouse looks kind of interesting. I don't know if anyone's heard of Mouse Haunt. I did a I covered it in my top five video. Apparently, it's you're gonna be like a little mouse in in trying to get through a castle where the other players, or I guess one other player, starts out as a ghost and tries to kill you, and the other mice. <laughs> and then if you die, you in turn become a ghost and you join the ghost team to try to kill the. So it looks it looks like a little fun indie game. Uh, it's Haunt, H A U N T. Yeah, Haunt. So it's it's kind oh. of like Pac Man. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I yeah, that, I got, it I, is. I got imagine yeah, Pac Man it's not 2D, but whatever. Yeah. Right. Well, let's check that out. Uh, I mean, not, if it's something good. Uh, this yeah. is something I wanted to ask you though, Luke. I mean, um, recently you said that you didn't. You did. You also just wanted to stream not just NFT games, but I saw you stream other games. So I wanted to ask you if there was like. A particular non NFT game that uh, that you like to uh, to play right now or or looking forward yeah. to. I used to I used to play a lot more games outside the NFT space, but doing content you know really limits my time for other games. Right. But uh, I used like I used to be in League of Legends a ton, and you know, like, not good. Not good for my mental health. I'll say that it's a <laughs> it's a game that will make you rage. Yeah. Uh, you know, in other games like Valorant uh, and other you know Call of Duty stuff. I would say now 
mostly I just connect with my old students on Fortnite or Minecraft, so I'll play that from time to time. Uh, my wife and I, we, we play Nintendo Switch games together, you know, Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey, stuff like that. She's more casual gamer, so she'll play some Nintendo games with me. Uh, outside of that, though, it's it's mostly because I'm, you know, trying to make content and play games all week that, you know, when, on my days off, I actually don't play quite as much as I used to. Breath of the Wild casual? I'm not sure if, uh, if I, I followed that. <laughs> That's a casual game, well, but uh, pretty cool, yeah. The first, time, the first time we played through it, she almost handed me the controller every time we got to, like, a boss fight or any <laughs> big monster. I can't imagine. So it was pretty casual for her, but now she played through almost the entire thing by herself. I was really proud of her. Ooh. Interesting, right? Well, that's cool. I mean, any Pokemon games or not really a fan? We... Uh, shoot, what was it? Yeah, we played through either Sword... I think we got Sword, not Shield. Sword. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we haven't played a Pokemon game since that. And uh, it was good, but, you know, Pokemon games are, are fun for me for a while. And then they kind of get a little bit repetitive, so... Uh, they're they're a, definitely a childhood game for me. You know, I I grew up with Pokemon, so I, I have a special place in my heart for it. But it's not something I play necessarily every day. Okay, well, guys, if you want Luke to dress up as as a Pokemon, what kind of Pokemon do you want to dress up? As? I think a more interesting question it would be: What is the worst cosplay of Splinterlands? Like, what would be the most embarrassing thing to cosplay? Like, I'm trying to think of a character or a card. Are you sure you want to know that? Because we kind of had <laughs> we, we kind of had an event here recently. Um, this the Philippine community. We had a, a low cost cosplay down here, and uh, the one who won number one is a wood nymph. It was a guy, yeah. and it was wood nymph. <laughs> so Interesting. Maybe you want to cosplay wood nymph, and uh, <laughs> that might be yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> well, have to get a lot of like green paint on it. Do your own take on on the wood nymph, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not very good at cosplay, but I could try. <laughs> I mean, I know you like Quicks, but he's not like the uh, I guess the most adorable yeah. dude to look at. Then then why not uh, him? That would be hard to pull off. <laughs> that would be quite hard to pull off. I think a funny one to try to do would just be Lyra. Lyra. <laughs> Jesus. No, I mean, I could so I, be, I could think of Grund. I mean, maybe do a T-Rex. I would be. T -Rex I would be a, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I just think it'd be a really ugly Lyra. <laughs> oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I mean, I, we we might be talking about that, but sooner or later, maybe tomorrow, we'll see Luke dressed up as Lyra. So you guys get no ready your, your screenshots or whatever, whatever it is that you can capture, so that you can oh, <laughs> you can you can, uh, you can record this day when Luke becomes Lyra. Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> All right. Oof. Okay. Well. Okay. We're, we've uh, we've touched up on a lot of stuff already. And uh, again, I want to thank you again for uh, for for answering this. I'm way above the 15 minute time limit that you set for me. Are you yeah, still awake? Or... We're fine, but <laughs> if you want to end, that's fine. I do have like another 10, 15 minutes. It's uh, totally well, fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze every last <laughs> inch of that 10 minutes. So uh, I guess this is not like every day that we can we can get you in the stream. So I okay. actually do have a few more questions for you, if it's okay. Sure. I mean, right. I mean, I was doing an outro already, but uh, it's cool that you gave me a few more minutes. <laughs> that would yeah, be cool. Um, I want to know your ultimate plan. I mean. Uh, because, for example, oh. I know I've been uh, I've been doing this for for a while now. I mean, just recently as well. I've been a gamer all my life. I guess ever mm -hmm. since I uh, was three or four years old, actually. Um, but now, just recently, discovered this uh, the streaming thing, this uh, this industry and whatever. And you can tell by <laughs> by my overlays and whatever that I'm not really. Uh, I guess I'm a complete dunce at it, and I'm trying my best to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to stay afloat and It'll do get it. there. It's fine. It's good. It's good. <laughs> right, but um, I but but there is a plan, right? I mean, uh, for example, you know, we we do know that there are a lot of mainstream. I guess, I guess a lot more successful content creators that you want to be like or whatever. What is your plan? Is there like an inspiration for you that you want to be like, or is there like uh, a future status that you want your channel to be in, or do you sure. want to invade a particular whatever? Let, let yeah. go ahead yeah I, for me I, something that I learned that's been really helpful for my life is to make goals that you know are, are valuable and meaningful and not just kind of like for 
sake of you know pride or vanity or <laughs> whatever you want to call right, it. Right. Uh, so I don't have a goal like, hey, I want to hit you know a uh, hundred thousand subs or I want to have a million subs or something like that. Like mm -hmm. to me, I can't control the numbers, right? Like I can control putting out good content. I can control making good thumbnails, trying to do SEO work. You know, I can I can put all the effort in, right? But it's not up to me uh, if someone watches the video, right? Mm. <laughs> so uh, or subscribes to the channel. So that to me is more out of out of my control. What's what I feel like I can work towards and want to accomplish is that I'd love to get to the content creation, uh, at least being like a, a reasonable full-time job salary uh, for me here in America. So, you know, it's it's not that I, I want to, you know, have a million subs and be a millionaire or whatever. Like, if it happens, whatever, like, you know, <laughs> sure, cool. But, you know, it's like, hey, if I can take care of a family, if, if we can have enough... Um, you know, if we can use some money to just pay off our debts, stuff like that, and then all the stuff in the gaming, the play to earn side, that I look at that as just like a long term, you know, three, five, ten year investment where you know, p pull it out one day and maybe you know, do something special with it or something fun with it. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not like I need to be a ten millionaire from p these play to earn games. <laughs> you know, like that's just not that's not my heart, my vision. But I I love making content. I love streaming. I love hanging out with people. I love these play to earn games. So if I can continue to do it full time, uh, to me that would mean a lot, and you know, to to be able to just cover the daily basis of stuff and and have enough, you know, um, that that to me is where I'm not quite at yet <laughs> in my channel. We're growing, but not not quite to that level, and that's where I'm I'm hoping to get to. Very well said, man. I mean, uh, yeah. Wow, I was uh, was kind of blown away there uh, with that kind of outlook. I mean. You, you said it correctly said earlier. Correctly. I mean, there, we have different perspectives, you know, and how we view things. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There is a financial component here that uh, that I, uh, for example, me, I'm I'm trying to look at. But of course, I'm mm -hmm. like I said, I'm a gamer, so you know, I'm gonna stream games. I'm gonna play games, and this has been my life as well. So yeah, kudos to you, man. Yeah. Thank you for uh, for that outlook. <laughs> yeah, all right. Always a financial component, right? It's mm -hmm. like. It's one thing to do this as a hobby, you know, which I've done content creation as a hobby, right, for mm -hmm. five, six years now. And wow. it's one thing to say, like, hey, uh, cool hobby that I've, you know, spent a couple hours each, you know, each week into it. And over three months, I made $100 in Twitch tips or, you know, $200 in YouTube ad, ad revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one thing when, when it, that's what your rate is for a hobby. But it's another thing when, like, hey, wife, this is my full-time job. And... I made a hundred bucks this month, <laughs> like right, you know. That's different, right? Uh, I got for it. me, that's different. So there is a financial aspect, but it's not, you know, I need to be a millionaire. It's more like, hey, like I love doing this, and I would just like to be able to do this full time and continue doing it full time. Well, you doing it or getting there doing it is helping a lot of people, especially down here in the Philippines. So again, if I haven't thanked you enough, I'm gonna thank you again for uh, for doing those guys. It does help a lot. Trust me. And I, I get, so, I get, uh, yeah, when I stream, I do stream every day. Like I said, I'm the, actually, I already said this, but I was the very first Filipino streamer. And there was a time when people really were scrambling uh, to get all the information they could regarding Splinterlands down here in the Philippines. So this is, yeah. how, well, this is how I started. This is how I got my, my viewer base, right? Right now, there's a lot of streamers, so they can watch everybody. But, but then um, your videos always comes up. And I'll be honest, that is the first time that I, that I knew about you when uh, some of my viewers uh, have been have been telling me about, hey, look at this uh, Luke Place to Earn. Um, um, you know, he's been doing these guys. He's helping. Um, and, you know, it it's... Uh, it, 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 I, I, like, again, you are... Uh, well, you are a foreigner, of course. And mm -hmm. there is a certain element of... Uh, there's a trust value that, uh, that I see yeah. here, right? There is a trust value because... We got, we got some, uh, of course, I'm not going to name names, but there are a lot of whales out there. There's a lot of content creators and, and such, but um, it's very different when it's somebody you really trust. You know, somebody from, uh, sure. this Krill Crew thing, I think it's something that, that got to them, right? I mean, some the the uh, the perspective of coming from uh, from down and then uh, trying to move up and whatever, that's a big thing. Uh, for, yeah. for for my viewers and I guess there's that's some frustration for my viewers actually because because when I stream I'm in champion I'm in diamond and uh -huh. uh, I get a lot of people saying oh wait can you give me some uh, some tips for bronze and and whatever and I try to do that 
right? But I'm not there anymore. <laughs> and uh, it's you know, a whole other it, game. It is. It is. It, it's it's a different kind of uh, it's a different kind of game. And so they're trying to look at uh, other places. And you know, of course, your your um, your channel pops up uh, a lot of times. So you know, it is it is not surprising that I got you on my list uh, for interviewing. So there yeah. you go. Thank you again. Thank you. I mean, I've, I've said a million thank yous already. It's gonna be. A <laughs> I appreciate it. No, I mean that's 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 what I want to do. Is you know I want to help people, and you know I'm still figuring out this space. I've been in it for about a year, which is uh, obviously this space is so new that a year at this point is a, a long time to some true, people. True, yeah. Uh, so I just want to help out as much as I can, and so I appreciate you just passing on that encouragement, and it, uh, you know warms my heart to hear that people are being helped by the videos and streams because that's what i really want it to be about awesome oh fatima says yeah i remembered watching luke while doing research on splinterlands there we go i mean you know we got uh, we got people here in the chat confirming uh yeah. confirming that <laughs> thank you <Probably> not. Oh, <laughs> very good um my last question this is gonna be the, really the last question um <laughs> what card are you going uh, if, if you were if you were given the chance to create a card now for Splinterlands, what <laughs> card would it be? Uh, is it going to be a summoner, a monster? What skill? Go ahead. I mean, yeah, your no, imagination is a, the limit. It's got to be Luki the Lion, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You're your big... <laughs> I mean, it's either, it's either, either Luki the Lion I did or... not bait you for that. All right? This was a serious <laughs> question. This was a serious question, okay? I know people either are going to be looking for that. <laughs> Damien, Damien, it's it's either Luki the Lion or it's or it's they hire out DJ Doctor Moo and just like the Waka Flocka, it's a thousand card promo card. <laughs> DJ Doctor Moo, oh my God! Did you even, guys? He even he even uh, he even shows his tail off. So. <laughs> I don't know what abilities. What would abilities would DJ Doctor Moo have? Oh, Ooh, come on, give, give me some. Give me some. Give me some. We're talking serious. I mean, we're serious here. So you, you better give me some serious skills. I mean, definitely a slow because you know uh, the cow <laughs> is pretty slow. So he's gonna need some you know slows on the other team to kind of match up the speed. I feel like right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So so he's a monster. Know, he's a monster then, right? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Um. <laughs> I kind of want him to be a legendary summoner like Waka. You know, if Waka Flocka gets his own card, I want DJ Dr. Moon to be its own <laughs> legendary summoner. Come on. Right. I, I was going to ask you about Waka, but I think you already have a video uh, already out there planned for it. Yeah, yeah, I talked about it in streams, uh, but I don't think I have a specific video about it. I mean, I know I'm never going to touch one, so that's... <laughs> well, we can, we can rent it probably. I mean... Man, yeah. I, did you not even try it? I mean, I only have like how, how I think I only have like uh, two thousand SPS, and I was so ho hopeful. I said if I, you know, if I withdraw all of this, and maybe I can get one. And then I found out the price is five thousand uh, SPS with five hundred values. Oh I'm gosh, like, yeah. I gotta restake everything again. Damn it! How many SPS do you have, <laughs> Luke? Uh, I think I'm up around the two thousand mark as well. Okay. I think two thousand staked, and I have a little bit of liquidity pool, but that's. Honestly, because the community has been so gracious, like at one point, I think Dwayne gifted me like 600 on my birthday. Damn, and then, Dwayne, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was insane. And then just from getting like, uh, like a land plot gifted and all the card power gifted, Holy you know, that those airdrop points add up, you know, over time. Right, right. Do you, do you have a land plot? I didn't know about that. Yeah, well, just one from the gift, which is insane. I never thought I would own one. I literally was just like, I'm never going to own land. We, we probably have the same, I mean, we have the same resources, I guess. We got the same assets. Oh, anyway, it's pretty cool that I know about this. We got a lot, uh, we got a lot in common. But we, we're, like my, my brother from another, no, uh, my brother from another mother. <laughs> you're, you're kind of a uh, uh, different yep. version. <laughs> All right, and uh, that's going to be it for my questions, uh, Luke. Unless you have something that you want to ask again, like earlier. I was surprised that you wanted to find out about that. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, again, I love just being in this NFT space to hear about other countries, other parts of the world, how they, you know, see things and even just learn about the culture. So I'll ask your chat and I'll ask you as well. I've kind of already asked my chat, but if I ever go visit the Philippines, oh. like what are some of the top things I need to do there? Okay, so chat, you better answer uh, some of the top things you need to do. Or need to go to, or what? what or just visit, or whatever. Like, if I'm going to the Philippines, like, where should I go? What should I do? Or should I just like chill out on the beach? I don't know. 
Well, you know, I, I, me from the top of the list, I guess everybody's gonna say Barakai. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be coming up probably in the comments as well. But you know, just getting along with the people down here. Um, I'm not sure, Luke. Did you play any Magic the Gathering before, or uh, or any? The Gathering? Yeah, Magic the Gathering. Uh, back when I was like 12, so like 16 years ago. <laughs> okay, but Emin already said uh, said it correctly. I think this is the first in the list, and he says, "Eat, eat, and eat." Here we go. Um. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna come up, Luke. Whenever you're down here, um, people will ask you to eat balut. Have you heard of that? <laughs> I, I have not. What oh, is it? Oh, it's uh, un well, unfermented, unfertilized duck egg. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And okay, it, yum, yeah, yeah. yum. And when you eat that, um, you actually sometimes see the duck, you know, the duck fetus forming oh. and whatever, right? So. Uh, you guys don't also have, like, the durian fruit, do you? We do, we do have that, but it's like chicken feed, you know, compared to balut, and you know, we can eat crickets down here, maybe some frogs as well. But okay, I think, okay. that, but, but I think, but that's kind of exotic already. But the balut is something that even the the every man can eat here. There's like a balut vendor, like walking through, uh, walking through the streets, you know, it's gonna it's gonna shout balut, balut. That's how, and that's exactly how they shout it. And uh, you know, they can get that in breakfast. They said it's good for the knees or whatever. I don't eat it as well, so uh, you know, I guess when you're down here, we can we can eat it together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just giving you a warning. I'm like a really really white guy, so I I can't make any promises we that have, I'll. Uh, don't worry. We have a lot of, we, we're we're very experienced with 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 very white guys. Don't worry about that. Bro. We're gonna teach you a lot of the curse words. We're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Sounds right. like a good time. Right, we're gonna have a good time. I mean, that, that's that's uh, that's how we are down here in the Philippines. I think that if there's one thing though, that we're very hospitable uh, people. We will we will tell you we, where you know where these places are. Yeah, and I think Boracay would be the first uh, place to go. Um, Conrad says, don't visit Tagaytay on weekends because of heavy traffic jam. But Tagaytay is one of the uh, one of those spots as well. Uh, John Carlos says, go for a food trip, street foods, eat mm, dried yep. fish from Balanga Bataan. Get down here and I'll feed you lots of food, street foods. Fatima, okay, Fatima, you better lay down, girl. You better chill out, girl, because, you know, <laughs> I've, I've been seeing your oh, comments my. already. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, okay. So, anyway, I think everybody is saying the same thing, and that's, uh, you know, that's for you to eat. <laughs> I, mean, I like eating. My wife likes eating, too. So, we, we love uh, trying new food. That sounds great. Mm, so... What is your favorite dish then, you and your wife? Oh, favorite dish? That's so difficult. That's I don't even know. <laughs> like cook. we literally eat. Do you cook? We literally eat. Uh, yeah, we cook. Uh, typical meals could be like anything from Mexican food with like tacos, or we like oh. doing a lot of rice bowls, um, either kind of Asian rice bowls or Mexican rice bowls. Uh, I don't know, pizza, burgers, I, I don't know, we just eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> Pasta. <laughs> Taco Tuesday comes to mind. Oh, anyway, wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, you know, I, 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 it's like a luxury for us down here to eat tacos, but, uh, you know, we, we have, we normally have shawarma joints here, so that's where. Ah, <laughs> okay, well, you guys can, uh, you can get me some balut, or balut, and, uh, I'll, I'll make you guys a taco. There we go, we got that, we gotta hold him to that, guys. I don't um, know if I should make a taco and, and like, you know, I, I am still white. I realize that tacos well, are for you. It's going to be, you got to say ta taco with a slang. So, you know, it's it's American taco, yep. <laughs> not Mexican taco. <laughs> <laughs> we're not being racist here. You know, we're just, oh, like, you know, we're. <laughs> I'll we're bring over some Taco Bell. It's so good. Oh, trust my, me. We do have Taco okay. Bell down here, but I know it's probably okay. going to be different. But uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm <laughs> kidding. It's, it's not very good. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I've you know I've gone much beyond you know, and I think it's so far beyond your bedtime already, Luke. No, I'm sorry yeah, about yeah, that. You. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. We're having uh, so much fun. Time. Yeah. I, well, I know. I've definitely enjoyed it. I appreciate you having me on, and we'll have to hang out again, and mm -hmm. or maybe uh maybe find a Zen Sports stream where it's not your like. 6 a.m. where yeah. you can jump off. Yeah, when you, when you said something on that in the collab, I really wanted to say, hey, I, I, I want to do this. But number one, yeah. I don't have a camera, so that's one thing. 
Second, it's it's not my, it's not my time. <laughs> it's not the right time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think next time, next season, if we can get a next season going, I want to make it different times each week so that there's different um, you know time zones for the streams. I think that would be fun. But as we sign off, you gotta, Damon, you gotta teach me what's like a, a goodbye in Tagalog. Okay, you you're gonna. Uh, well, we we normally we just say goodbye. I mean, there's no uh, there's no really there's no real uh, you know I guess greeting that would say uh um i mean you can't <laughs> you can't say old tagalog i guess old tagalog would say panaba sa wak sa wakas ba guys ano bang uh, um i'm asking the chat right now what 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 uh, paalam oh my god i forgot my filipino yeah paalam is the uh, the tagalog yeah, yeah. right that's the one i usually say at the end of my videos do you say paalam yeah it's called paalam how did you pronounce paalam. it <laughs> paalam okay Say ingat. I just wanted, I, there we go. Say ingat paalam. There you go. So it's like in, ingat take paalam. Care. Goodbye and take care. Yeah. Go ahead. Ingat so, paalam. There we go, guys. Luke plays to earn. I want to thank him again. It is super uh, late. Uh, you know, at his time zone. I got him also. You know, here at very last notice, and he's up here for you guys. So thank you so much for uh, for staying here, Luke. Uh, and yep. and super shout out to JJ. Yep. I appreciate it. I hope one time I can guess in your stream. Let me know, uh, you know, if, uh, if there's anything you need me. I'm there for you, man. I got your back. So let me know if uh, there's something Eat. I can do for you, and I will be. Sounds there. good. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Luke. You can drop off in the Discord now, and you can go to sleep. Yes, All it right. is time to tell Pak. <laughs> We're gonna do some tell Pak. So much, Salamat, and uh, let me see. Uh, I think I lost. Oh, Igna, in Ingat Paalam. There we go. Is that close? <laughs> yeah, and now you've just said I'll murder all your fam. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you what, did what? the right thing. <laughs> all right, so everybody had fun. Thanks for another fun stream. All right, and uh, guys, please, 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 catch his streams. Okay, trust me. The energy that Luke uh, brings out um, on his uh, on his uh, videos, uh, both his videos and his live streams, especially his live streams. Okay, his videos have nothing, uh, you know, you know, compared to his live streams. It's super cool. It's super fun. Uh, he's also interacting with the audience just like me. And uh, please do follow, subscribe, and do whatever. Notify whatever it is in YouTube uh, for YouTube people. Thank you again, Luke. I'll yep. see you next time, brother. Yep. Right. Uh, Chat you up. Bye. Okay. And that's it, guys. We had Luke. Grabe. Yes, magan extreme yan. He has a different time zone, which is why, di ba? <laughs> bye friends there we go Luke says paalam and bye thank you so much Luke again for dropping by so guys that was our second that was our second um, uh, I guess the second session interview session that we had the first interview was with Furious Chicken so I have a question for you yeah mga 7.30am inaabutan ko pa sir yun there we go so I have a question for you guys um, eto. So, meron akong isang pack na ipapamigay dun sa ninth person na nag-send sa akin na nakasubscribe sila kay uh, kay Luke, di ba? So, yun, that's one na. Uh, meron akong dalawa dito kasi it's for the Time Traveling Anime Villains winners. So, hindi ko pa rin magagalaw yan. Then, there's nine more na I said um, ipapamigay natin but I wanna ask you guys, anong gusto nyong gawin sa 9 na yan? Ganun lang ba? Papamigay ba natin? Or whatever. Kasi the last time tinanong ko to, you guys wanted to talpak it. And then you guys wanted to, um, I guess, pamigay yung a certain card or whatever. Kailan uli yung kay Lolo din? Uh, Nag-schedule pa kami. He's gonna be part of that interview session. And then, um, uh, siguro sa ano, sa... Sabina natin ano early next week. Kasi si Bulldog will be my next international streamer. Uh, international na ii interview in. Talpak den bigay. <laughs> Parang weird, di ba? <laughs> uh, we, can, we can do it later. We don't have to do it now. Kasi sobrang uh, ano naman. Or we can do one muna. We can do one ngayon so that we can, uh, we can give away. Mga 8 Mamayang gabi Right Diretso na lang po sa IGN ko 
Ah, hindi kasi Amor, may sarili kang bibigay ko, di ba? Remember, nanalo kayo dun sa, val nanalo ka dun sa Valentine's event. So, meron ka ng sarili mong pack. Ikaw naman. Huwag ka na mag ano. <laughs> so, um, ganito na lang, guys. Uh, I will give away one muna today. Right now. Yeah. And then later, on the later stream mamaya, we will give away the rest na lang. Okay? So, mamigay mo na tayo ngayon. Facebook picker tayo. Nandito pala yung uh, love triangle eh. Nasa na si John Patrick? Biglang nawala na naman. Give chance to others daw. Send mo na lang daw sabi ng viewers sa IGN ko. Grabe naman kayo. Kapati ma. Kung ano pinagsasabi mo dyan. <laughs> okay, let's do notify Luke na lang. Yan, notify Luke tayo guys. For your 1 Chaos Legion pack. So... Again, you need your follower share badge Pero pag supporter badge, okay na yun Let's go guys Notify Luke tayo Exclamation point Notify Luke And we will give away one pack today Right now And then later on Siguro sa spread out na lang natin yung mga pack giveaways Para mas marami tayong ano Mas marami tayong times Ano yung question? May question sa ano Magla-live din po ako ma mamayang gabi after stream right. Ah, okay. There we go. So, magla-live daw si Black Orchid, Yukina. Exclamation point, notify Luke. Let's go! I know, guys, medyo maga, but it's the only time talaga that we can get Luke. He can't be, uh, you know, he cannot be awake during our time. I think it's, I think it's madaling araw sa kanila pag nag-stream tayo ng mga 5 o'clock. Right now, actually, it's around 10 I think around 10 already sa kanya. Okay. There we go. Notify Luke. Getting the comments now. Ano ba yan? Twenty-one unique comments. Here we go. Hindi ka mananalo niyan, Mary Joy. <laughs> Pero may pack pa kayo sa akin ha, kayong dalawa, don't worry. Wow! Black Rose Aquina, like and follow. I'll be giving away a black, uh, gold foil gargoyle lion later. Stay tuned. Wow! Grabe. Here we go. One pack giveaway. Then we're gonna... Talaga nag-stream lang talaga tayo ngayon para lang talaga ma-accommodate si Luke, guys. This is not our uh, normal stream time. But, you know, I'm also asking you... Sa inyo, if I ask you guys, ano bang magandang oras talaga for me to stream? Kung kayo yung masusunod, what do you think is the best time for me to stream para sa inyo? Before tayo mag... Before to give away tong, tong pack na to. I'm gonna ask your opinion, guys. Ano sa tingin yung best time? Okay ba yung 10 in the morning? Okay ba yung afternoon? Okay na ba yung 5 to 7 na usually kong ginagawa? Sabi ni James Ryan, 3 p.m., Joseph says 4 4 to 7 7 or 8 Okay na yung 5pm niya Sir Wolf 6pm po para sa mga nagwa-work and deep. Yun nga inisip ko kasi Dahil baka ano, work Pero ayoko rin naman Ayoko na masyadong gabi So it looks like Okay na rin kayo sa 5 to 7 no? Alright, sige, sige Begin 3pm, 4pm, 6 to 8 Okay 6 to 8 p.m. onwards para parang ganun na rin yun, I guess 5 p.m. Kasi guys, we do dinner at 7:30 p.m. Eh, kami family. Uh, yan ang talagang ano namin. Kaya normally alam niyo yan, 'di ba? Hard stop ako normally ng 7:30. 9 to 11, nako. Papayagin mo naman ako, right? <laughs> normally yung stream time, ayun yung sleep time ko. But if you're saying that 9 to 11 is where we can get more of you guys, more, you know, I guess, mas convenient to watch my stream, then I might think about it, diba? One of the reasons kaya ayoko nung ganong time is kasi normally dun din nagsistream yung mga iba nating streamer friends, like sila Petrek or whatever, and ayokong sumabay sa kanila eh, parang I want them to have, uh, I want us to share the viewers, I, I don't want to, uh, to, have, uh, to have the viewers choose, diba? Parang gusto ko sana tulungan kami. So, pero sa, syempre hindi ko rin makontrol when they stream, di ba? Pero normally, alam ko late nights sila nagsistream. That's why I also also try to avoid 
yung late night. Yan sila Petrex, sila sila G, sila ano yun, Midlife Crisis Gaming. Normally gabi sila. Even si Johnny Depp gabi siya nagsa-stream. So ayo kung masyadong sumabay sa kanila para hindi kayo pwedeng para hindi naman kayo ma-force mamili kasi matampuhin ako guys eh matampuhin talaga ako pag pinili niya sila napansin niya 'di ba seloso ako sa ganyan kapag oy wala ka sa stream ko no siguro nasa ibang streamer ka no may pagkakaunting seryoso yun 'di ba may pagkaseloso ako pag ganyan <laughs> mahirap mamili na panpanoorin pag sabay-sabay exactly that's why ayo kung sumabay sa kanila cuz i you know i told Luke 'di ba sinabi ko naman sa inyo i'm the very first Filipino streamer nitong Splinterlands. Um, pero meron ng mga ano, marami ng mga nag nag come up ng mga ibang streamers, 'di ba? So I also want to help them. You know that. I've been promoting them here. I always guest them para mag-promote ng ano, nila ng uh, streams nila. Basta merong content creator na pumasok dito sa stream, I try my best to help them. So ganun. Niaaway ako ni Sir Wolf kahapon. Oo. Wala ka kahapon kahit ilang tag <laughs> oh, seryoso talaga ako. Maniwala kayo, maniwala kayo. Tama si du Duquesa, seryoso talaga ako. Hindi yan, hindi yan deny, hindi yan deny. Magaling lang ako magtimpe, madaling lang ako mag Sige na nga, pero seryoso talaga ako. <laughs> First hand experience ka, madam. <laughs> Sabi ni Fatima. Wala tanungin, basta yun na yun. Pareho naman kami. <laughs> Scorpio kami pareho, so di ba? Talagang ganoon. <laughs> Okay, so ito na, papamigay na natin to. Sige, so buti naman, tama yung mga yung time slot ko so far sabi nyo. Parang okay pa naman yung time slot ko. So sige, let's continue with that. Pero guys, if I stream twice a day, um, you know, sana mapanoorin nyo rin ako. Okay, we have Abantao Santelices. Abantao, are you here? Parang nakita ko siya kanina. Abantao, are you here? <laughs> Notify look ko. Buti hindi nabasa ang asawa niya yan, Fatima. <laughs> crush lang naman, ano? Crush lang. <laughs> Whoa! Abantao! And he wins! He wins! Congratulations, buddy! You win a Chaos Legion pack. And just for being here, you already have your share badge, so pretty good. Send me your IGN! Para masend ko na kagad yung pack ngayon, ah. No, I'm not gonna open one, guys. Wala akong potion. Pero baka, ma baka mamaya. Baka mamaya. Huwag nung reroll. <laughs> Lugi sa Santo DP. Santo ba ang DP niya? <laughs> Abanta, what's your IGN? Para masend ko na to. Joy cute. Ito talagang joy cute na to. Kahit kailan eh. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Shield wall. Wow, what a what a name. What do you think, guys? I mean, if there was a dream dream interview, sino sa tingin niya pinaka dream interview natin? Kung kayo papapilian, sino ang pinaka dream na interview na pwede kong gawin? Buto lang di open. Shield wall. Wow. Who do you think, guys? Ang magandang i-interview. Ang gusto ko talaga si, si, ano eh, si Dwayne. Ah, si Daddy Agi, si Agrod. Mm. Si Bulldog, guys, don't worry. Next week, we'll have Bulldog next week. Nag-agree na siya sa akin. Actually, nauna nga siya nag-agree sa akin kaysa kay Luke eh. <laughs> nauna siya nag-agree sa akin kay, kay Luke. Inuna ko lang si Luke. Pero si Bulldog, will have him scheduled next week. Si Dwayne, no? Si Dwayne Cunningham. So, dalawa. Si Agrod and si Dwayne Cunningham. Chooks TV. <laughs> si Mark. Chooks TV. Ano yan? Nag-email nag tayo bigla. Alright. So, thank congratulations, Abantao. You won uh, the Chaos Legion pack. So, guys, stay tuned. Magsistream pa rin ako mamaya. Mamayang hapon. Although, very quick stream lang din ulit. Um... And then stay tuned because the next in our interview series will be Lolo Den. It's scheduled kasi early this week. And then I will have Bulldog maybe the end of the week next week. Mga ganon. Bawal daw siya ng Thursday. So anything before, anything other than Thursday. Si BBM, grave. 
Wag tayong maging political dito, baka mag-away-away tayo lahat dito, guys. Ah. Walang walang politi walang mga political hisers. Sabi ni Janelle from Lady Hello. Yes, man, you're very late. You already missed the interview, pero you can watch the replay. Ang kulit ni Luke, no? Ang kulit ni Luke, naka nakaaliw siya. Uh, pero makulit din siya sa stream niya. Si Agroad, nako, medyo. Yeah, I guess dream interview yan si Agroad. Um yan ang busiest of the busy. Lexi Lor, na hindi ko kilala yan. Lexi Lor lang gusto mo kung wari ka. Sino ba si Lexi Lor? Lexi Robredo. <laughs> Stream turn to debate comments. Saka makikipag-debate tayo, patay. Nakakurious na lang ako kung sino yung mga, mga ano nyo. Yung mga presidentiables nyo. <laughs> sino kaya mga presidentiables nitong mga to? Baka mag-away-away talaga tayo dito sa, sa stream natin. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I mean, this afternoon. Mamaya, mamayang early evening. I'll be up again. Baka malita ko ng konti. Baka maybe around 6 since tayo nag-stream tayo ngayon. BBM! Nakaw! Nakaw! Patay tayo dyan! Ito na. Nagsasabi na namang ano nila. <laughs> Alright, wag mo i-google si Lexi Lore, sir. Hindi ko kilala si Lexi Lore. Sino ba yun? Who is Lexi Lore? Sabihin nyo nga sa akin, sino yun? Fatima, sino ba yun? Sabihin mo nga. At bakit mo kilala yun? Kung sino man yun. Lexi Robredo, sabi ko. Okay, guys. Sige, um, hanap lang ako ng streamer. And then, uh, let's, let's raid that streamer. Sino ba online ngayon? Iba yung oras natin ngayon, eh. Uh, Aloja is online, pero somehow hindi ko siya ma-search sa ano ko. So, probably I'll skip her. Taxton Gaming. Ah, si Captain Lady online! Aba, Splinterlands pa yung nilanaro niya! Okay, let's go to Captain Lady, guys. I'll be ending the stream now. So, uh, good afternoon. I'll see you guys again later. Catch uh, para mamimigay ulit tayo ng mga Chaos Legion Pack. Alright, thank you guys for dropping by and again special thanks to Luke if you're watching again. I appreciate it. I Paul I uh um, I really apologize I took your time, but thank you so much for dropping by. And thank you then sa Wolf Fam natin. So guys, I'll be sending you to Captain Lady. She's playing Splinter Lantern ngayon, so pretty good. Very, very rare na makita natin siyang online. Very rare din natin siya makita naglalaro ng Splinter Lands. So let's uh let's go and support her as well. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Again guys, pagpunta nyo sa kabilang stream, Wolf's Den Raid, ha? hashtag Wolf's Den Raid, okay? Thank you guys, bye-bye. Pwede ba? Gusto ko sana eh. Hello, Idol Wolf. Then, shout out. Tapos. Yeah. 